Guys, hello and welcome to the Librarian TV Network. Today is October 4, 2024 and today is Friday. So, if you are following us from any part of the world, we want to say good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I'm Francis KD Kofo coming to you live. You can like, comment and share on our Facebook and YouTube channel. So, uh, just to let you know, uh, there have been numerous of you know things uh, coming up and they asked yeah yeah we definitely discussed it and i want to say sorry yesterday we couldn't actually bring you uh, the live broadcast of daily breaking news because i wasn't actually feeling well i was hit by uh, you know a severe you know fever but how be it i uh, since yesterday and up to date i have begun treatment you know the issue about Liberia when you are sick, malaria, typhoid, and so other things. Why rain falling? We are uh, under the rain, sun shining. We are also uh, in the sun on a daily basis, just to ensure that yes, indeed, all of the major happenings are brought to you. But how be it? We are back today to ensure that yes, indeed, details, uh, information are provided to you. So one of the breaking news we have today. President Boakai to reshuffle, dismiss, and suspend government officials who are not performing at all. Uh, this information, we actually got this information a uh, long time, but then we, sometimes when we get this kind of information, we sometimes try to verify, to authenticate that whether the information is true or not. And from my indication, We've been told the president actually wanted to have done the reshuffling or to suspend or dismiss of government official uh, early next year. But then we also been told that due to uh, the highest, you no, know, due to the due to the increase of high misstep in government operation, especially by some government officials and you know other you know uh, individuals within the government. And today, the president is taking said decision in order to ensure that yes, in his government, uh, is, uh, his government, you know, is, is a government of accountability, is a government of in integrity, government of transparency, and so on. You know, he came, the president actually came to the presidency based on his pillow and what he actually preached to the people. So when this information, but prior to this information coming up, you have high court government officials who were like, you know, providing that their takes. Uh, one of those who actually, you know, a lamp of our said information was Honorable Delos Dalon. Delos, Honorable uh, A.B. Delos Dalon. Delon served as senator for Mosserado County, and you also have uh, Clarence uh, Jackson, who is currently uh, with the government at the U.S., you know, I. At, at the U.S. General Assembly in the U.S. So these were individuals coming up with said information. And later on, we know that this information was official and it was clear. So but many librarians have been, you know, happy. Many librarians are jubilating that, oh, yes, at least uh, President Boca is listening to them. At least President Boca uh, is not behaving like, you know, uh, things as usual or the old president normally, you know, does. But he is really, really performing with the father and can listen to the call uh, of the librarian people to ensure that, yes, indeed, uh, some major changes are done. Definitely, he is moving or doing things in the call. But how be it? This is Liberia. I'm Francis K. Dikopo coming to you live at about this hour. And also to let you know, uh, Martin Cole is right. He said the dean of Amos Sawyer College at the University of Liberia, Mr. Joseph Gray, has a fake PhD. Wow. You know, the issue about credential audit, uh, since the CSA said they were going to do credential ed, uh, audit, Martin and not the CSA that, yes, indeed, before you do that, try to investigate and do the audit right within your institution. And he has been coming over with numerous of names in regards to that and prior to this uh csa pronouncement in relation to audit martin has been coming up with numerous of names even prior to the government that uh, i told prior to the essence of the joseph human Boakai government during the presidency of uh, former president we are he has been flagging and uh, he was flagging numerous of names out 
And by then, by people said, oh, Martin was just envious, he was this, he was that. But how be a Desuez library? We are waiting. Uh, what the CSA will do uh, when they observe or when it is noted that all oh, individuals definitely have this kind of fake credentials and so on. So, uh, So this one says that unprecedented flaw rendered several citizens homeless in and destroyed several properties in and part of you know Neymar County and Liberia. So the issue of climate change is something that is very cardinal that we all need to definitely you know head to and look at how climate change is actually affecting Liberia. So by this year, uh, in November, Liberia is set to go for. Uh, the COP29, wherein you have other institutions there to actually, you know, uh, provide the, uh, the National Determinant Contribution, which is the NDC that every country definitely put forth at the COP29. That indicates that, yes, indeed, this is our strategy in fighting climate issues or in fighting environmental issues. These are things that we intend to do or we have been doing for over the past time. So, uh, yesterday, the heavy pull down of rain actually destroys numerous of homes. Uh, a lot of things actually happen. Yeah. But like we said, uh, global warming is taking place on a daily basis. So the issue of climate change is something that we all need to look at. It is not something that needs to be uh, a banner. It is not something that we need to just play don't care about. Normally, you know, we all know that rainy season, dry season starts in as early as October, but you observe that even in dry season, rain falls heavily up to the rainy season itself. But then, uh, this too is Africa, and we are in the war. And also, this one says that uh, Commerce Minister Amin Muda vows separator rights Liberia plan in improving Liberia owned businesses across the country. So Yeah, so Cameron Minister of Recent came up with this information and he said that, oh yes, uh, Liberia, Liberia will definitely, you know, enjoy the economy. Liberians should be the one actually enjoying the amenities of the economy. Then other foreigners or aliens come into Liberia. And he outlined a series of plans that, oh yes, uh, even the importation of rice or importation of other goods and services into the market, uh, these will be... Uh, the, Definitely, these will be things that librarians will definitely, you know, take upon themselves to do do it. But then he is just cautioning all librarians that, oh yes, if you are to engage into such, don't bring any substantial things to the market, don't involve yourself into things that are not good. Do things that are properly genuine and that the market actually love. When we say the market love, definitely, the people definitely love in the market. So there are a lot of things. And he will even ask about the whole metesh issue and things and say oh it's just something that uh, that is intended to actually you know damage his reputation but for over the past years he has been a successful businessman and up to date and uh, he came in, into government prepare he didn't came to government to he didn't actually come to government to steal or to take anything away but he come with the law he come with all of the expertise in order to ensure that yes indeed things are done a call and in battle, PUL President Julius Kanema pushes for journal journalist welfare. So, uh, this was one of uh, Julius Kanema, you know, statement towards the uh, media in Liberia that he will ensure that the journalists in Liberia are well paid. Yeah, just imagine, uh, most of the journalists in Liberia sometimes I pay fifty dollars, sometimes seventy five, sometimes hundred, sometimes one fifty, and even. Uh, most of these pay don't even come, you know, regularly, and some are delayed. So for you to even get it, it becomes difficult. And yeah, you we live in a country where in uh, things price, goo, the, uh, the price for goods and services are high. Things are skyrocketing on a daily basis, and you are paying someone hundred dollars or even seventy five dollars or even one fifty, but then you don't pay the person on time. Sometimes it takes four, five, six months, even take months to even pay. Sometimes you observe that many institutions will definitely suspend uh, some of their workers and sometimes oh, we let, we let you go because there is nothing we are getting. So, Julius Kanemba is saying that, oh, 
we will definitely try to ensure that journalists welfare are working at all. And this one says criminal could see George Blamo Dixon bound former final minister Samuel Tue and three others from having like uh, from from actually traveling uh, from traveling out of Liberia threatening to re arrest defendant if they attempt leaving any uh, they attempt leaving at any entry point in Liberia. So uh, of recent honorable Samuel Tue came to Liberia and then he was I, he actually turned himself about to the court wherein regarding the economic issue that oh yes he defrauded the government when he was former minister and then later on the police uh, the police LMP has called on on number 12 they have invited him to provide information in relation to the former uh, auditing general one Uh, the auditing uh, general, uh, Mr. Thomas Nyenswa, who actually, you know, died mysteriously right on Broad Street. So the police said Mr. Tue is one of the persons of concern, so he should go and answer some questions. So as we speak, Honorable Tue is being, you know, in Kanto, in love with other, you know, allegations uh, regarding Honorable Nyenswa's death as well. And this one says suspended so LDA boss has been subpoenaed by the court. You know, the LDA bus have been suspended by the criminal court C as well. So, like, we all know when he came to the uh, position as LDA bus by then, there was a series of just arrests, and especially the one relating to the Nigerian guy commonly called Japan. So, he has been subpoenaed to us to, to provide some information in regards to that. And also, a uh, recent, there was this issue where in there was search and seizure a warrant that was provided by the magistrate court in West Point. So he has also been called to provide details in relation to that. Uh, that led to you know the huge saga at the uh, CDC party headquarters. And lastly, this one says CSA announces uh, immediate lifting of the ban on new employees and uh, on new employment and employees to transfer between and within government entities. So. Uh, there was a point in time where uh, there was this restriction provided that there should be no transfer between uh, a mini, mini, uh, ministry, uh, ministry or you know government government entity from one point to another, or there should be no employment made uh, because by then the government was trying to settle a few things down and so on. But as we speak, that ban had been lifted, and things are now in a core. Those that were even, you know, transferred within government institutions, their pay have been given to them. And new employment is currently ongoing within this Boaka and Co administration. Guys, so this is all what we have for you at about this time. I want to say thank you for following this platform. You can like, share, and comment on our YouTube and Facebook channel. Thank you.